Hey folks, welcome back to the channel, Visible Dark, and with me today I've got Dan from Asteroid TV. What's up? So, uh, <laughs> first off, contrary to rumors out there that I've heard, uh, I am still alive. Dan, poke me. Ta-da, see? Yeah, see? Real. <laughs> <laughs> right out of Ghostbusters. Right out of Ghostbusters. <laughs> We have uh, a bunch. We have a great video ahead for you, actually. Yeah. Uh, so let's start so, yeah, with the, the, uh, the Q folks, sir. Focus are here yeah, from QHY. Yeah. So let me just uh, get my video here too. All right. So All right. there we go. So we've got the go. QHY Q focuser. This is the high precision focuser. Yep. And uh, it's got a uh, number of great features with it, um, which, uh, Dan, maybe you want to jump in and uh, sure. just yeah. explain away. Yeah, so uh, QHY came out with this about, I guess about, what is it, about a year ago maybe? Um, and I uh, wanted to get into the focuser market a little bit better, and uh, they came out with this uh, Q focuser. And uh, this is a sub-micron focuser, depending on what, um, you know, all focuses aren't made alike. So, I mean, uh, normally on my system, it's about a 0.7 micron focuser. And it's really kind of cool. If you want to know how to figure out how many microns your focus are on, you could uh, go to the website. I'll put something up there and I'll put the formula up there for you. It's a little bit too much to get into for this long video. Mm -hmm. but, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, but it's actually pretty easy. You take some measurements, you do some math, and uh, you can figure it out. It's high precision. Yeah, it's total high precision. Total high precision. Yeah. And, and you need that, right? And you, you need, you, you yeah, need for that. for focusing? Yeah, that's uh, right. It gives you that little bit of an edge between a uh, pinpoint sharp star and a slightly bloated star. Maybe, yeah, right? absolutely. And especially when you're dealing with uh, those longer focal length scopes where that mm -hmm. critical focus zone is so small where you got to kind of mm -hmm. you got to kind of make sure those stars are as tight as possible. So, uh, yeah, so as you were saying, uh, there is two uh, versions of this. This is, uh, like you said, is the high precision one. And the uh, the standard version, the only real difference, I mean, you and I spoke about this mm -hmm. offline, was yeah. um, is this guy right here. Yeah, the clutch. And the clutch. So, you know, you could kind of turn this and turn You can't see. You might not be able to see it on the thing, but you could see the... Uh, yeah, you can see you, know, you can see a spindle move, right? So you're able to focus... Um, Without, you know, especially when you do, do a like, manual focus, do a manual focus, yeah, right? If you yeah. need to, yeah, um, disengage it and do a manual focus, uh, focus and uh, re engage it, basically, exactly, yeah, exactly. So, uh, okay, um, and uh, power source is a, um, yeah, you know, where, where, where is this guy? So, let's uh, let's get the little box over okay, here, let's open up the box, we'll open up the boxy, uh, boxy box here, all right, it's your normal QHY hard wannabe apple box mm -hmm. and uh see the power it was a little different here it comes with a couple of things we got uh this is your data transfer cable your usb a to usb c mm -hmm. all right pretty standard here yeah um your your mounting bracket right and your do not lose these <laughs> do not lose those yeah um it comes with a temperature sensor ta-da your normal temperature sensor. Temperature sensor. Do not insert that anywhere else, but into... The no, this is only made for telescopes. Telescopes, not, yes. Not <laughs> your dog or whatever. Or yourself. <laughs> yourself. <laughs> but uh, the one thing that's a little odd about this is that it comes with this little uh, adapter here. Mm. Um, and go. if you take a look at the power, mm -hmm. powers mm -hmm. are not your normal... Um, your normal 2.1, 2.5 yep. kind yeah, of thing. It, it looks yeah. like uh, either like a 3.8, yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, like those old audio cables. Yeah. So they, and uh, so have they a, put a, an adapter, an adapter basically. which right. turns it into, mm -hmm, your, I mm -hmm. believe this is 2.5 if I'm looking at it. Right? Yeah. It might be 2.1. It might be 2.1. But anyways, there's an adapter there. Right. So they've what they've done is they've tried to keep this as small as possible. And in the course of doing that, they've had to introduce an adapter, which as you've said before, could be a failure point. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, you know, you know, as you add more wires and stuff, you know, there's more of a chance where something falls out, something disconnects, something goes bad. Mm -hmm. um, and that's one of the things that, you know, it's fine. It probably, it, I mean, you know, it, it doesn't make the product bad. No, it doesn't. It's just, it's, it's just something that, you know, you might maybe want to Maybe they could have done differently yeah. and something to be aware of. That's all. Yeah, so that that's the cute folks here. It comes with cool. a bunch of bushings mm -hmm. also. Yep. For different sizes, I believe it's a three to five with a half a millimeter in between, if I remember right. Okay. Um, and you just use whichever bushing you need. It's got your, you know, your screws and your mounting plates and all mm -hmm. that kind of stuff. Yeah, okay. So it your comes with everything you need. Basically. Yeah, every, everything yeah. you need is right, right here. Right. Uh, okay. Although, um, just a side note, uh, these are not, uh, the brackets are not made yet for these, for the Schmidt-Cassegrain's yet. 
Okay. All okay. Right. So that's so, something that everybody something should be aware of. Right. I, they're I, working on that, though? They, they are. They, they said are. they actually just put a post on the website. I just read about five David, minutes ago. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> and yeah. said, uh, please be patient, yeah. but they are coming out with okay. it. And, All right. uh, Fantastic. You know, yeah. so. Um, okay. So affiliate links. I'll put affiliate links in the in the description. Uh, click on those. It'll take you to, if you're in the United States, I'll have one for Dan's website, Astro World Telescope. And I will also have Canadian affiliate links if you're in Canada and you want to buy. Uh, please use the affiliate links. Uh, the affiliates actually help a lot. They keep the channel going. Um, small commission is what I get from it, and that helps me in creating new videos, new content, uh, getting new hardware, gear, uh, the time it takes basically to produce the videos and, and so forth. Uh, so if you use those affiliate links, I really appreciate it. No cost to you. Uh, it just uh, costs this guy here a little bit. Yeah, it's giving giving me a little bit. You know the pie. We're dividing up the pie a little bit. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know, you know. One, 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 one hand scratches the other, or whatever they say. Yep, you know, yep. One second. Uh, hey, I don't even know what I'm talking about. Just be careful where you're scratching. That's uh, all. that's okay. Right? My hands are under the table right now. So. <laughs>